so I'm going to start this project off by taking silver diamond confettis and I'm going to glue those around the plastic white piece take the clock apart and when I take the clock apart I unscrew it from the back I'm doing one diamond confetti on the line then I'm taking two little diamond wrap and I'm hot gluing that on and then the diamond confetti and then the bling wrap and I'm just alternating those as I go until the entire thing is filled up. So as you can see for the hands I'm taking the bling wrap and doing a couple rolls on the skinny parts hot gluing that down fatter on the fat parts and then once I have that then I'm gonna put my mirrored strip on top of that and then I put a little more bling wrap another strip of bling wrap on there the bling wrap all the way across on the longer hand and then the one that's by the three if you can see the edge of that that is mirrored paper so I'm taking a strip of mirror and then my mirrored paper and then I'm taking my bling wrap and adding that on there as well After I get done putting all my stuff on the clock, I just take the screws and put the clock back together again. I'm using 12 Dollar Tree plaques in total, 
and I'm taking the pieces of wood off of all of them here. I took nine of the Dollar Tree plaques, I hot glued an E6000 the edge, and then make sure the top of the plaque is facing up on each one for the pile. Here on the side, I'm pushing it a little bit towards the middle so I have some of it hanging off. And I do that on each side to create my shape. To create the stand, I just took the plaque, um, put it facing upward, took some E6000 as well as some hot glue on each side, and then I just glued the entire thing onto the bottom. So for the bottom, I took a piece of mirrored paper, sized that up, stuck it on there, and then I flipped it, and on the sides where the brown would be from the plaques, I added diamond wrap, glued that on. And then when I was finished with that, I took two of the two inch mirrors, glued them on each side, and then in the middle, I took four mirror strips and glued those in the middle of it. So when it's sitting upright, you see the mirror as well as the diamond wrap. After I was done with this, I went ahead and I painted all the plaques white. Um, what I would redo differently would be to wait longer for the paint to dry. I didn't wait long enough, so when I hot glued it, it was a it was a mess. So for each. So for each side, I took one row of bling wrap, I hot glued it on the top, as well as the bottom. And then you're going to see me place the mirrored strips underneath the bling wrap. Once the mirrored strips are done, I'm going to go ahead and stick the, the two inch mirrors underneath there. And then I'm going to do mirror strips again. And then on the bottom, you see the bling wrap. And underneath that bling wrap, going towards the very first plaque on the side, you're going to see me also gluing on 
strips, mere strips. And I do believe it was two across the edge, two on each side of the edge. So here I just continued with my mirror strips like I was talking about on the edge going all the way down and the best way to do this you're going to see in a second I took a screw and I drilled it into one of my plaques after I deciphered where I wanted my clock to lie and that helped me to figure out where to glue the mirror strips and what was going to be seen. Um, you could go ahead and put mirror strips all the way down but if the clock is going to be covering it there's really no point in wasting your product so that is why i put the clock up here to help me with that direction So for the top of it, I took a piece of mirrored paper, cut that out, and I stuck that on. After that, I took two of the mirrors and I hot glued them on top of the mirrored paper. And then I took two rows of diamond wrap, both containing four diamonds, and I hot glued that in the front and the back of the mirrors. So for the long part of the side where the first plaque would be, I took a piece of diamond wrap, glued it on the top, then I took, um, I took a Dollar Tree mirror and I glued that in the middle, another one underneath that, and then here you can see me putting two mirror strips on each you side of it. Minutes.
So for the bottom part, I took a piece of mirrored paper and I cut that out and tacked that on and then I took four of the two inch mirrors and I put them in the front and then I took my Dollar Tree mirror and I pushed that towards the back behind those mirrors and then I hot glued that on and then I took my diamond wrap in the front, I believe it was four rows and I glued that on the bottom. It goes around on all sides and then underneath my clock I glued one row of diamond wrap across that. Once the mirrors were glued down, then to incorporate this clock with other things that we've made so it matches, I took two diamond fillers and I glued them going opposite direction from each other. And then I glued one on each side of the larger mirror, the Dollar Tree mirror on the top. Then for each edge where the clock sits in the middle to meet the clock on each side, I took two diamond fillers, I glued them opposite direction from each other, and then I hot glued those on each side where the first plaque would begin. I also decided to take five of the mirrored strips and glue them on the very bottom of the front and just place them on the diamond wrap. I wasn't, I wasn't sure where I was going to place this, but I ended up putting it on a top shelf for now. And the problem that I had was the bottom. I didn't do anything with the bottom because I figured you weren't going to see it. But since I put it up high, obviously you see it. So all I did then was I threw in a piece of mirrored paper. I just put the mirrored paper right there. And then when you see it from a distance, it's good. All right, another successful completed project we made together. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. If you have been following me, thank you very much for your time. And thank you very much for your loyalty. Now I get to go clean the glue off this. This is going to be great, great fun times. You guys have a fabulous day. Thank you so much and have a good week. Bye.